Hello, hello everybody and welcome back. I hope you all have had a great day and a great week and have been taking care of yourselves and all that. Um, keeping warm when you need to keep warm, keeping cool when you need to keep cool and all that wonderful stuff as well as keeping hydrated. Um, <clears throat> I uh, have to apologize a little bit starting out today. Um, I am a little tired um like i was i like i was <laughs> i was sitting at my desk before the stream just kind of going oh no i could feel myself going i it falling 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 so um <laughs> if i seem a little bit lower energy throughout the stream that would be why and i deeply apologize for it ahead of time uh i'm going to do my best but just in case, like, I, the tired starts to overtake me, just know it's, I'm doing my best. <laughs> anyway, um, before we get started, do I have any announcements? Not that I could think of. Um, yeah, no, I can't think of any announcements per se. Uh, just a reminder, I have a Patreon. Feel free to check that out. Um, it's uh, no big deal if you want to support me through it or not. Um, it'll it'll be a way to help me improve my content and uh, improve my channel and all of that wonderful stuff. But um, if you don't want to do it, that's fine. I won't hold it against you. Anyway, other than that, let's just uh, get back into it, shall we? Um. Yeah, I keep feeling like we're close to the end with Bloodlines, but also, like, simultaneously, I feel like we haven't really done shit in Bloodlines. Because we've been focusing primarily on uh, these four. We haven't even unlocked this fifth person and their column. And we have, we've only done, like, we haven't even done this first mission over here. So, <laughs> yeah, um... Anyway, we were going to help Claire with her request, her final request, in order to get a, a, to, for us to unlock our our final reward. Um, and that was just right over here. So let's just quick ta a quick travel right over here. Um. Alrighty, Aiden, let's go kick some ass. Kick some ass. Let's go kick some ass. Hi, Albion. There's a lot of Albion here. Oop, I'm sorry, sir. Just gonna sprint across the road real quick. Not. Don't do that. That's that's like the most dangerous form of jaywalking. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Um, the uh, use your uh, use your fucking uh, crosswalks and shit. I'm so sorry. I'm just running all over everybody. Okay, so I have an Albion contact, Miles. He managed to get his hands on some documents for me and is willing to trade for a favor. I already set up a meeting for you two. Slow down. Favor? I didn't even say yes. You just did. Come <laughs> on, Piers, I need you on this one. This story could reveal the truth behind the London bombings. Miles just needs help working a case. Fine. That's a car on the wrong side of the road, going the wrong way. And there's nobody in it, so I'm gonna take it as mine. Oh, oh, oh. Alright. 
I didn't need to drive that at all, but here we go. Here we are. Damn, I I really drove. Okay, here we go. What's up? Don't even try it. I will shoot you. Don't even try you to arrest me. You must be Claire Waters' associate. I'm Miles. Or Sergeant Fletcher, if you like. Don't let the uniform fool you. I'm really an okay guy. And you are? Waiting for hey, you to tell me what you want. Right. I need help tracking down a woman. Cora Taylor. I can't prove it yet, but she's connected to the London bombings. Keep talking. She caught me okay. tailing her and gave me the slip. But I know where she likes to hang out. Fine. Say I find her, then what? Then you download her schedule so I can continue my investigation. Simple. Got it. I'll contact you once I found her. Cora Taylor. I don't remember if that was the... I don't remember. Is my car gone? No. Okay. I was gonna say, damn, they really did me dirty. Do 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 do. Auto drive beep, beep. now enabled. Beep, beep. My horn went beep, beep, beep. Auto drive now disabled. Auto drive now disabled. Well, all right, you then. She must be around here somewhere. Cora Taylor. Not her. Not her. Found her. Well done. Now download her schedule so I don't lose track of her again. Shit. Can't let her get too far or I'll lose the signal. I know how it's played, Aiden. Are you sure you have the right person? Based on this, I'd say she lives a pretty ordinary life. Evil is banal, my American friend. I'll contact you once I finish my shift. We can meet to swap information. Something is not right about him. Think no. I'll do my own investigation. Bagley, pull up Miles Fletcher's address. I found a match. Setting destination. All right, all the way over here. Oh, it's right next to a quick travel spot. Hey, Claire, what else do you know about Miles? Something about his story seems off. He's worked for Albion for a few years, stationed over on Downing Street. I can't tell you what size shoe he wears, but he's always had good intel. That's it. You're putting a lot of trust in a guy you hardly know. For what, a story? You don't get it. The bombings were an attack on my city, my home. And I won't rest until I know who was really behind them, because we both know it wasn't dead sec. I hope you know what you're know getting into. I mean, technically it was dead sec. Technically it was dead sec. We know from the main game. <clears throat> this was a... Highly uh, radicalized individual who was part of Dead Sec. All right, how am I gonna get up there? What you got for me, area? You, oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. Oh, do I get up there? Oh, Danny boy. And there's pipes. There's pipes. What the hell? Oh, I am so sorry. 
Laz hasn't finished his shift yet, his place should be empty. Let's have a look around. Where is the CTOS hub? Ah, there. Okay. Ah! They made a perfect little climbing stairs for me. doing seeing who miles really is and here i was thinking i was the nosy one two miles fletcher from irene sanders this just came down from the top i mean the very top they want someone to look into claire waters I'm sure you've heard of her show, Buccaneer. Uh, they're worried about the effect her message will have on the public and want to make sure there is a plan in case we have to talk with her. I know how thorough you are and recommended that and recommended that you take the case. So why don't you give that girl a break and put your <coughs> excuse me, detective skills to use good use maybe save your career official orders will roll out soon but don't wait for them to get started to irene sanders from miles fletcher attached you'll find my preliminary report on miss waters it was a small ask all things considered i bet you could have even handled it but i know you're busy so i took the liberty of sending the captain a copy of the report myself perhaps you should worry less about my career and more about why you can't get that promotion. Damn, that was rude. Tends to favor public transit and never takes the same route twice. I assume that she spends most of her time at the studio since she cannot be found anywhere on CTOS between 830 and 1700 hours. Recommend approaching her at her studio to avoid arousing suspicion with her flatmate. Miles has a file on you, and he sent it to his superiors. This is what I'm talking about, Claire. So Albion considers me a threat? I'm not sure if I should be flattered or concerned. Probably the latter. Nice little kitchen. Claire, are you seeing this? Miles isn't working a case. He's stalking this woman. You've got to be shitting me. Ugh. See what else you can find. I want to make his life miserable. Hey, Cora. I just wanted to let you know I had a great time last night. Maybe we can go to that Italian place that just opened on your street. Cora? Are you ignoring me? Please don't do that. I can see when you listen to my messages. Are you ignoring me? Are you? How's your show? It looks like you're enjoying it. Mr. Pierce. Hey, Cab. Is that you snooping around my apartment? Can't say I'm impressed. Didn't you think to check for security? How do you know who I am? Well, you've left quite a mess around town the last few days. Oh, and hello, Ms. Waters. Miles, you sleazy bastard. If you think you're getting away with this, you're dead wrong. I'm gonna let everyone know who you really are. I don't think you'll get the chance. In fact, Ms. Waters, I'll be seeing you very soon. Claire, he's coming for you. This isn't a joke. I need you to get somewhere safe while I deal with Miles. Okay, I will. But what do you mean, deal with him? What are you going to do? Take on a whole Albion patrol by yourself? It shouldn't yes. be a problem. I'll contact you when it's safe. Yes, watch me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shoot. Uh, how do I turn off the music? It's... I did not mean to turn it on. Keyboard. Gameplay. No. That's my controls. Music. Musica. Musica? Driving. That's what I'm looking for. Um. There we go. Toggle mute. Okay. I have enough problems with this game and copyrighted music. I don't need to add easy listening to the problems. Not easy listening, casual listening. You can't hide Ooh. forever, Miles. I will find you. <laughs> no, you won't. You're too old. All washed up and you don't even know it. It's almost sad, really. Here we go. There he is. I see you, Miles. Very funny, Mr. Pierce. Hello? Hello? Found you. Suspects reported near your location. Received. We are trailing the target. Take it. 
Negative. No sign of the target yet. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. Still make this work. Oh, I failed it apparently. I have to kill him again. I see you, Miles. Very funny, Mr. Pierce. Hello? Hello? Claire was after. Get in the damn car, Aiden. Claire. <laughs> Claire. I'm here, Pierce. Are you okay? Fine. Miles won't be bothering anyone anymore. I'll send you the documents now. Hope it was worth it. Pierce, I thought about what you said. You're right. I do need to be more careful, especially if I want to live to see this story through. You have a bad habit of getting in too deep with no way out. You do good work, Claire. Thanks, Auto Pierce. That means a lot. It's been a genuine pleasure working with you. Likewise. Keep your head down, and good luck with the story. Hell yeah. Start gun. This is where we are now. All over the city, Albion's taken stop and search to a whole new level. They stop us without cause and take what they please, whether it's our wallets or our lives. But Albion's abuse of power goes far beyond corrupt troops. How far, you ask? Well, I'll show you on my next episode when I discuss the London bombings and break down what really happened that day. All right, so we've got all of them. That just leaves the main storyline.
Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. Selling drugs, whatever. I care more about what they do with that money. Strike units, you are cleared to begin. Lethal force authorized. Operation Silk Road is green. Repeat, the operation is green. Shit, Ambien's closing in. Gotta get that data now or they'll bag it up. Maker's client list if I've ever seen one. Hold on. Looks like that truck I destroyed earlier was a massive shipment about to head out to Rempart. The geometry, Aiden. Come on. All right, one thing at a time. Let's 
look at this bomb maker's client list. Eliminate the usual suspects, and that leaves... Auto drive now enabled. Anime Sex Pillows, LLC. Hello, wrench. Let's see what's in your file. Anime Sex Pillows, LLC. Damn, dude. Wrench is always wrench. <laughs> what the hell is that? Jackson? Sorry. Thought it was muted. You left the video permissions open and I couldn't help myself. Sucks about the dead end. Not a total bust. I learned the guy I'm after is thorough, methodical, and smart enough to cover his tracks. And he probably does all that goofy stuff so nobody takes him seriously as a threat. Exactly. He wears a mask to hide his face, but the performance is the real disguise. Sounds like mm -hmm. someone else I know. Hey, look. True. This feels weird. Can we talk? Like in person? Of course. I'll be there right away. Imperial College of London Engineering Department, PhD Auto candidate. Now LMPT Mixed Martial Arts Gym Membership. Monthly order of one box. Buff Auto Max Protein enabled. Bar. Hmm. Yet if you actually found Jackson, Auto you would have just said disabled. so. No. I would have showed you so you would believe me. Auto drive now enabled. Is that what it's going to take for you to turn in your accomplice? I told you I don't know him, but I can find him. But honestly, right now I'm thinking about coming to see you instead. <laughs> oh, stupid idea. You said it yourself. I am very rich, and my family is richer. Even if you kill me, you would ruin your nephew's life. You're already responsible for the death of his sister. Could you really hurt him like that again? You'll get your gadget. I'm hanging up now. Sorry. Okay, I've had a minute to think, and I'm gonna help you. No, Jackson, I can't let you get involved. I didn't ask for you to come. And all my life's on hold until you're gone, so why don't you just bring me up to speed? You're right. So, there's this rich scumbag called Thomas Rampart. He needs something called the Broker Bridge, or he's gonna go to jail for a scam he's running on the government. Rampart. Robotics guy, right? Does private security? That's right. <laughs> and let me guess. He hired you to grab this broker thing and then he turned out to be an asshole. Pretty close. The broker bridge was stolen by this old dead set clown. Goes by Wrench. And Rampart probably thought you two were working together. And then he threatened me if you didn't turn over this Wrench guy over to him? Exactly. And frankly, I'd love to. But I have no idea where he is. So that's why you were looking into bomb supplies. You know, I do know my way around London pretty well at this point. I might be able to turn up a lead or two. All right. Just don't put yourself in any danger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackson? I'll be fine. Remember. I do. Hey, I meant to say, this might take me a while. So you might want to find something else to do in the meantime. Right. I think your resistance friends might have some work for me. Good thinking. They should be able to help you get outfitted, too. If any of this goes sideways, 
you're going to want to make sure your equipment's up to snuff. Auto drive now enabled. Hey, Aiden. I have a question. Go ahead. That weekend you took us all out to the country. When I was a kid. And on the way we got run off the road. I don't want to talk about this. About what? About the crash or about my sister? Look. Did you know those guys were after you? And that's why you took us? I'm not angry. I just want to know. You never said. Yeah. It was a mistake. I ran when I should have fought. I didn't commit to what I had to do. The man I had to be. I never made that mistake again. What about the mistake that got Auto us there in the first place? Disabled. Robbing whoever was you robbed? I don't know, Jackson. Same answer. You ever wish you'd committed to being that other guy? All the time. a lead. Really? How? I figured Wrench wouldn't be the type to steer clear of the authorities for very long, so I went poking around in Albion's body cam archives. And look what I found. Auto drive now enabled. <laughs> yeah, that tracks. That's Wrench. Look behind him. Reports are coming in that a masked terrorist has set off a blast at a Rempart Automated Defense Systems facility here in the capital. Terrorism experts have identified the man pictured here as an American DedSec operative known as the Wrench. London's own DedSec no, cell the, was dismantled following their cowardly attack on the city less than a month ago. So now we must ask, has the Wrench come to London to finish what Auto they drive started? Now disabled. He might have left something behind at the Rempart facility. Exactly. See what you can turn up. Hey, Jackson. If you had any more questions about anything that happened before, if that would help you, you can ask them. I do. Too many for right now, though. But would that help you? I think it might help both of us. Okay, well, let's try one out. Oh, God. Well, I've had a hard time remembering what things were like before it happened. Can't even remember what I was like. I was pretty young, but... Well... Mom always used to call me Aiden by accident. I guess we were... Oh! Lot of like as kids. So maybe you were a bit like me when you were my age, too. Hmm. Guess I wasn't so bad then. Don't give yourself too much credit. I'm still better looking. My It looks like I beat the rubberneckers at least. Probably not for long. You'll want to be in and out. Identification. They just shot anything that moved. Reckless. 
Look at this place. Civilians could have been hurt. Yeah. The sooner we find this guy, the better. I'll hack into their BIOS, dig through their data, and see if we can't find where they dump their camera locks. Copy that. Get going. Yeah, I need to get him Spread in here. Out. Find the suspect. Drone, initiate search. Why did you not? Okay, this is gonna go bad. bad that went bad from the minute that it wouldn't let me <coughs> do a takedown on that guy all right looks like i beat the rubberneckers at least probably not for long <clears throat> you'll want to be in and out God. sorry for all the coughing everybody do your thing what the hell happened here looks like he modified the robot's friend or foe identification they just shot at anything that moved reckless look at this place civilians could have been hurt yeah the sooner we find this guy, the better. I'll hack into their BIOS, dig through their data, and see if we can't find where they dump their camera locks. Copy that.
You stop. Nothing on this one. That's not what I said to do. Come on, unlock the damn thing. Marking the camera log server. 
Let's have a look in there and see if any of these little guys caught a glimpse of the wrench. you in there. What the hell? <laughs> Hello, Thomas. Looking for this? Is it gonna do it? Sucks, right? Look, man, I know all about your little scam involving the Mark IIs. All I gotta do is smash this thing, and you lose your company, and go to jail. <laughs> Would you, though? I mean, sure, you'd probably get arrested, maybe even convicted. You'd lose some money, but you'd still be rich. So you do what? Four months? Nah. <coughs> no, no, no. I didn't go through all this just to set you back. I want to fuck you so you have fucked me with a sandpaper condom on my face. Damn. So that's why I'm going to crush your whole business model instead. I'm going to reverse engineer this thing. God, I love wrench. And then I'm going to put your thought controlled killbot design on the internet for free. That way, anyone who wants one can steal it. <laughs> Happy day. Yes, <laughs> Looks like Wrench left this as a trap for Rempart, and I stumbled into it. I can't do anything from here. Give me a minute. I'll come help. No, don't. I can handle it. Just give me a minute. was like an internet troll crawled out of the internet. That's yep. what we're chasing? He's a bit that more dangerous him. than that. Quite perfectly. Do you see any clues to his location on that video? I'm scrubbing it now. No windows, no take out containers. Hang on. Yes! Is that? Yes! I got him! Really? How? You can start heading to Brixton if you want to get moving. I'll explain on the way.
right. Tell me what I'm doing in Brixton. Go back and watch the video. Right in the corner of his workbench, you can see an Arduino board connected to one of his gadgets. Arduino? So he's controlling his gadgets with radio waves, probably through an optic. How does that help? It doesn't, unless you can get into high-frequency radio range. Then all you have to do is ping every nearby object. Whenever you have a high concentration of objects with a low latency ping back, you've got a big collection of Arduino boards. And a whole arsenal of gadgets. And since we already know he's in Brixton... All you have to do is go there, and I can use the Arduino ping back to find his hideout. Great work, Jackson. So I've been thinking. When this is done, you and me should probably sit down and really talk about things. Sure. I'd like that. But I do have a question now. If that's all right. About Lena? No, it's that... Well, you don't look good, Aiden. I'm worried about you. When are you going to stop all this? <laughs> Thanks. I keep trying to retire. Never takes. There's a lot of ways to help people. I've helped a lot of people, and... I've never shot anyone. Can we talk about this later? Yeah, yeah. Just think a little bit about an exit strategy, okay? Because right now, every end of this thing I can see looks pretty bleak. He's not wrong. Vigilante life almost never ends well for those involved. You're real close now. All those gadgets are routed through the local CTOS hub. Find the hub, and I can pinpoint the exact location. You got it. Mm. This whole area is wide open. That'll be a problem if he gets on that drone of his. Already on that. All the drones in London are on a CTOS air traffic control system. I just need to hack a local relay and reboot it. Should ground everything for a few minutes. It's not worth exposing yourself for. Rampart's still looking for you. Keep your head down. I'll be fine. Also, I left 20 minutes ago. So it's a mood point. Okay, well, I found where I need to go. Jackson, how's that drone controller coming? Jackson, come back. Where are you? That's it. I'm aborting. Coming to you. No, no, no. Bad idea, bud. What the hell are you doing on this channel? I told you. When I found Jackson, I wanted you to see it, so you would believe me. Say hello to Uncle Aiden. I'm sorry, Aiden. I fucked up. Oh, poor little cabbage. He'll be staying with me until you bring me the broker bridge. This makes your bargaining position clear, right? I've already found Wrench. I'll have him in 30 minutes. Good. Kill him, and I'll pay you a million dollars on top of giving Jackson back. I'm serious.
Aiden, uh, in the spirit of, uh, friendly whatever we are, just thought I'd let you know that that's not my real safe house you're outside of right now. It's, uh, nope, it's, it's, uh, decoy. It's, uh, yeah. yeah, it's, uh, decoy. It's over, Wrench. Tell me where you are. Ah, uh, no can do. Oh, and if any security drones show up, just know they'll leave you alone as soon as you go away. So, please go away. Not going to happen. Jesus Christ. Pounding on the door isn't going to get you what you want, Aiden. Reginald Watts, if I remember correctly. You can't give that thing to Rampart. Whatever deal you have with him, he's gonna try to fuck you over. <laughs> Believe me, I would know. He's not stupid. He knows who I am. He knew who I was, too. That's why he was interested in my company. Mm -hmm. He said he read about my rumored dead set connections in a Wired article. You designed the robots. Yeah. I know robots, but he knew business. He had this whole speech about space flight and human evolution and and I completely fucking fell for it. Yeah, I heard part of the story. So what? Now you want revenge? No. <coughs> well, yes. But mostly I'm just tired of fucking criminals, con men running the world. I don't know what I want exactly. I just know he can't win. Sorry, Reggie, I have no choice. For what it's worth, I spent my life fighting people like Rimpart. Doesn't work. So what? We're all supposed to just give up? No, you shouldn't. Some fights are worth losing. He quoted Jax. Oh, and he's got the, the little home drone drone robot from uh, Watch Dogs 2 there. Oh, that was cute. Oh. 
Magic Goat Battle Princess. What in the furry rule 34 is this? Sorry, ma'am. Rampart, it's me. I've got your broker bridge. Put Jackson on. Cool. He's right here. Aiden? I'm fine. Don't let this asshole tell you what to do. That's enough for now. You are so close to being through this, Aiden. Don't fuck it up. Oh, I'm absolutely gonna fuck it up, but I'm gonna fuck you up first. All right, Thomas. I'm on my way. You're being very trusting. For all you know, I could be planning to kill you and your nephew. You said your people look to me. What did they find? That there are a lot of stories about the fearsome Aiden Pierce. Most people say that all the violence in Chicago is just a regular gang war. It got blamed on some boogeyman called the Fox. But having met you, I believe the myth. After Chicago, they say you went global for a few years. I found a few links between you and the murder of some warlords, blood diamond traders, dictators. A dozen more rumors of the same. And that brings us more or less to the present day. But what does any of this have to do with you walking in here and simply trusting me to honor our deal? Look at it this way. If even half of what you said is true, is crossing me really worth the risk? You know what? I agree. There is no angle in it. Bring me the broker bridge, and this is all over. Blackman. Or Edgy Blackman, not Reggie Watts. Reggie Watts! Reggie Watts is a musician! Why did I think that? Oh my god. Reg <laughs> go. Time to get Jackson back. Sorry. Are you concerned what with the, the Albion hell is this? Yeah. Ah, you're here, finally. I've ordered everyone to stand by. Your nephew and I will be waiting for you in my office. I've already completed all the resistance missions that I can, so here we go.
Good. Hand the broker bridge over and leave the premises. Once I verify it hasn't been damaged, I'll release your nephew. Not gonna happen. I'm leaving with Jackson. Stupid. I guess this means we're at an impasse, Aiden. Not for long. Stand down now. I'm coming in now. Jackson better be there. And he better be unharmed. Mr. Pierce. Do you have it? We're going. No, no, no. Not before I confirm it works. It's okay, get up. the door locked i can get it open give me a sec faster is better the building's locked aiden give up and i'll kill you fast this is a full lockdown alert all combat personnel to security stations now thing paul the fucking panic boom company i'm dead the oh shoot it open if you have to Aren't today. getting out of here. It's over. Let's go. Jackson, are you hit? No. Fine. Just keep your head down. Focus on me, all right? All right? Yeah. Now I'm on you. If you kill Aiden Pierce, I will double your salary. No! Triple. Low, Jackson. Stay low. Keep your target small. I got it. Center of gravity over your hips. Keep your footfalls quiet. Yeah. Maybe we can find you a helmet. Aiden, you are making me less calm. Right. You're doing great. Aiden, you are making me less calm. <laughs> yes. Shit. Are we stuck in here? Yeah. They're probably setting up another ambush. Well, what do we do? We go back? No. No, I think we turn out the lights. This used to be so much easier. You've done this before? Not exactly this. But close enough. What the fuck is that? Yeah, you used to just what be about the lights. You see that? Well, fix it, you fucking moron. Where you at? I'm gonna assume he's right behind me. There he is. Shit. Perfect. 
choke point coming up. No way around. Is that good or bad? bad? No, it's bad. They'll be waiting for us. So what do we do? Just keep your head down and let me handle it. And if it goes bad, then you run. If nothing hits your heart or your brain, you can usually keep running, so just run. Do you can't, all right? Yeah, I love those odds. Let's go. You little fuckers aren't getting out of here! Too slow on the. You little fuckers aren't getting out of here. Time to power down. Get up. Good one. All non combat personnel, please shelter in place. Jackson, you all right? Still in one piece. Not my best day ever. Let's take a second. I want to have a word with Wrench. Bagley, dial him back. As you wish. Connecting. Aiden! Hey, you're alive! Again! What the hell were you thinking? I was thinking that you were Aiden Pierce, legendary badass. How do you figure it out? And this way, everyone wins. Well, I mean, except for Rampart. He's dead. Not quite. You only winged him. Okay, okay, so not a total win. But still, like, an 8 out of 10. Rampart's all fucked up, and he's still gonna lose a bunch of money and go to jail. You almost killed Jackson. Oh. Fine. 7 out of 10. Can we discuss this on the way home, please? What are you talking about? What? You think I just leave you in the lurch? I'm down bit. the motor pool. Already got us some wheels. Just use the central elevator. Pretty sure the button says MP. All right. We'll be right there. This is a full lockdown alert. I love Wrench. I do. Like, I knew he wouldn't leave me in the lurch. But Aiden had no reason to believe that. We vote tomorrow. But you should know that the Bogatech CEO, this Sky Larson, She's persuasive. You're going to accept her terms. You're going to fire me and replace me with her. How could you do this? You could stop this if you wanted to. I don't want to. It was your incompetent leadership that brought us to this point. I'm your son. I'm also the chairman of the company, and the board is obligated to act in the investor's best interests. Look, I can get the technology we need from her another way. I need six months. I've already given you twice that. Six months, and the company will be back in the black. Or I will step down voluntarily. 
Only I can't tell you how. The board needs to be insulated. Six months. I can hold them off for six months. But after that, I understand. Thank you, Father. Good. Now, will you be joining me for your stepmother's birthday on the weekend? We are going skiing. No, I can't. I have to work. Just a second. Alright, anyway. Okay. Sorry. This is a full lockdown alert. There are intruders in the Quicker. <laughs> I mean, we know he doesn't die because he's in the main game, but still. Mr. Littlefields, your honored motor cabinet happens to run. Oh, shit! <laughs> My cabinet! <sighs> Just barely. Do you have like a like a needle or something? Uh, uh, yeah. How's this? What are you doing? If he was just unconscious, he would still react to pain and sound. But he's not. What do you mean? He's like in a coma or something? Oh, shit! How do you fix a coma? They're taking him to a hospital. Where we'd be rampart bait? Not an option. I know. Fuck. Okay. First thing, we need to stabilize him. He's lost a lot of blood. So I'm gonna need some bandages, iodine, and IV. Whoa, 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 slow your roll there, Florence Nightingale. I'm gonna go get geared up, and then you can give me your shopping list. And where are you planning on getting that stuff? I don't know, maybe I'll hijack an ambulance or something. Look, you stay here, you look after Aiden, okay? And don't worry, Uncle Wrench has got this under control. Uncle Wrench. Uncle Wrench. Ow! Like this. Care to dance? Ladies here. Stop posing, you got time. All right, Ranch Jr., thanks. Time to go to work. You'll be good. Mwah. Ranch Jr. from the from Watch Dogs 2. I love it. I'm glad he got him back. <clears throat> All right.
Ninja Balls. Hello? Aiden, what? Wait. Dirty. Who the fuck are you? Where's Aiden? Uh, dirty. Wrong number. Jordy's gonna show up to save Aiden now. <laughs> Message saved for 412 days. Oh shit! Big Boss Reggie coming through. Straight up, yo, man. Congrats. This launch party for your startup is going to be lit. I better be reading about you taking over the world in a magazine or some shit. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Tonight better be open bar. <laughs> oh, Marcus. Message saved for 230 days. Reg, where you been, baby? I don't know if you meant to drop that in my voicemail, but you got me worried. I know the divorce went rough, so come out. Have a beer with your boy. Catch me up on you. And hey, I got a friend in town that maybe you want to chill with. I think you like him. He drives monster trucks. Just put it out there. All right, peace. Oh, Marcus. I wonder which divorce he's talking about. Wrench, are you serious about hijacking an ambulance for supplies? Is this one of those questions with the right and wrong answer? I have a friend who can help us. She knows the city really well. Go talk to Connie first. I'll send you the address to her pub. Don't worry, man. I got this. I scoped out a hospital nearby already. Go meet Connie. The last thing we need is drawing more attention to ourselves and getting the cops or Albion involved. All right, all right. Ye of little faith. Oh, that glitch is bothering me. You know, there is a world of difference between you and me. I was born to rule people like you. And you think you can ruin my face? Hey, look, it's Harvey Dent. <laughs> so you want chaos, huh? Great. Because of you, I realized I wasn't thinking big picture enough. You know, keep the broker bridge. Go fuck yourself with it. Because someone like me can do better than a cheap trinket. Someone like me gets to eat up little shits like you! You eat shit? Ha! <laughs> you said eat shit. Yeah. Well, I'll get back to you, Tommy. Gotta get that stuff for Aiden first. Focus, wrench. Wrong song, I think. Pretty sure. quaint little pub thing you've got going on here. Creepy mask, spikes everywhere. Yeah, Jackson told me you'd be coming. Hi. So, word is you know a good place to get medical supplies on the down low. Clan Kelly's got loads of stuff they're moving through the underworld. How do you feel about robbing from the robbers? Sounds like a sexy good time. Where can I find these black market stashes? 
I'll send a couple of locations to your optic. <clears throat> You're doing this to help Aiden, yeah? Make sure that stubborn fool stays breathing. Hey, listen. I propose giving him mouth to mouth, but, you know, with the mask and the spikes, it's kind of chafy, so. Get moving. <laughs> All right, we're not going to ride Sergey this time. All right. French has an up close and personal combat style. Lady smashes wrenches melee weapon. Press E to perform a smash attack, which will do damage and hack nearby vehicles away from you. Ninja Balls gadget. When the enemies get too close, press 3 to throw down Ninja Balls, which will have a stun effect on target. Sergei drone. Summon Sergei, which wrenches drone through the character wheel. Ride Sergei to reach higher areas and. Okay, yeah. Let's see how tough these clan killy fucksticks want to play. The point here is to get the monitor, not get into a fight. And if one of them gets up in my face, you want me to go, Oh, please, big bad gangster, may I have a vital science monitor? You gotta get your hands dirty sometimes, kid. Uncle Aiden's a prime example of that. Uncle Aiden also routinely gets shut up, and just recently almost died, and is now in a coma. And your point is... kind of went went to shit real fucking quick okay let's try this again shall we let's see how tough these clan killy fucksticks want to play the point here is to get the monitor not get into a fight and if one of them gets up in my face you want me to go oh please big bad gangster may i have a vital science monitor you gotta get your hands dirty sometimes kid uncle aiden's a prime example of that Uncle Aiden also routinely gets shut up and just recently almost died and is now in a coma. And your point is... <sighs>
Oh god. Got the vital signs monitor. And with minimal chaos, just like you asked. Are you proud of me? Uh, if you minimal. say so. I knew I'd win you over. No one can stay mad at this handsome mug. Oh, wrench. Always thirsty for approval from everybody around him. Oh, buddy, never change. Minimal chaos, meaning everybody's, you know, not alive anymore. Where's my bike? I had a bike. Did I lose the bike when I died? Probably. Okay, so it spawned me here. I could go up to the roof and pick those up. I don't care enough to pick them up. Um... Why not? Like, I love all the extra lore and shit, but like, the stress is get the shit for Aiden, you know? Ooh, ow. Shit. Fuck. Balls. Kids. Okay. Wow. Why am I driving? I can quick I can quick travel. known as the Fox, surveyed the clearing through steely eyes, looking at all the bad guys he was gonna kapow! Are you trying to roleplay as Aiden? Dude. Just trying to think, what would Aiden do? I mean, he could steamroll through this whole gang, no sweat. Yeah, because that's so cool. Is sarcasm any way to speak about your elders? You and everyone put Aiden on a pedestal. He's either the coolest vigilante, or he's the worst villain. It's weird. Because he's also my uncle that, frankly, kept putting me in danger and then just stopped showing up. Oh, okay.
Drugs. I have to steal the drugs. Look, they even packed it up nicely for me. You'd have to search through it quickly. Clan Kelly doesn't leave product unsupervised. It's for long. Ooh, I've got a better idea. Instead of picking and choosing some drugs, I'll just take all the drugs. How? And please don't say up your nose. That sounds fun, but I'm working, young man. I'm gonna call my buzzy little droid friend and fly the whole thing out of here. Sending you the coordinates to a drop off point so you can get the supplies to me. Special delivery for a Connie, looking for at least a 20% tip. Well done. I'll make sure Jackson gets what he needs. As for the rest, well, the resistance will find a use for it. Cheers, Wrench. Jackson, your shopping list is on its way. That'll help me keep Aiden breathing, but I don't know what to do about the coma. What if I swing by that big hospital? I can dig through their database and see if they have any information on treating coma patients. That's actually a really good idea. You gotta keep it quiet, though. We were avoiding the hospital because of Rampart. Don't worry, your Uncle Wrench can be so, so sneaky. Uncle Wrench. Uncle Wrench.
there was a point where you could see where I was just like, uh, kill me, you know? Fancy upgrade. Are you gonna have a problem accessing the hospital database? Eh, please. CTOS may have gotten a facelift, but that does not mean she's better than me. Long-term patient ward. Shit, are all the doctors on break? Physician, wouldst thou neglect the poor souls in thy care? Come on, Doc. People are slowly dying over here. <laughs> Sending you the coma protocols. Leave it to your Uncle Wrench. Thanks. And you keep trying, but I am not calling you Uncle Wrench. Oh, come on! trying but i am not calling you uncle wrench he barely calls aiden uncle aiden oh i was on the wrong side of that door <laughs> mm -hmm. so what's the verdict did that doctor's info help there's nothing on how to actually revive someone from a coma so I'm just stuck waiting for when, or if he wakes up. Don't worry, he's Aiden fucking Pierce. He'll wake up again. That's easy for you to say. But what if he doesn't? What the hell do we do then? Look, you can stay here for as long as you need. I'm gonna go blow up the other half of Rembart's face. Are you kidding? Aiden's in a coma right now, and you're thinking about revenge. Uh, yeah. Or do you not remember the crazy robot man who wants us all dead? Do you not remember that you're the reason why Rampart went after Aiden in the first place? and why Aiden is in a coma right now. Wow. Hurtful. I need to keep looking for ways to help him. With you or not. All right. All right. Fine. Oh, shit. Hi, Yvonne. I'm doing all right. How about you? And, um, yeah, no, the, uh, a lot has changed in the last two episodes, essentially. Well, actually, mostly in this episode. Um, the, uh, yeah, no, like, Aiden and and Jackson were doing, we start, started doing some, uh, chatting where, uh, uh, where they actually started to make some like therapeutic headway and shit. Um, yeah, and Wrench and Aiden are fi finally got to seeing eye to eye on stuff. Um, both Wrench and Aiden, uh, we we see a little bit more of the uh, how both Wrench and Aiden are broken, are broken men these days. Uh, Wrench went full capitalist because he was sold by Rempart on the this vision of technology and dream of 
you know, exploration in the future and shit. And then Rampart then stole uh, Wrench's entire company. Uh, yeah. And uh, also, they're at the exact same time, he was apparently going through a divorce. And, oh. like, a whole lot of shit was dumped on uh, Wrench all at the same time. Um, he isolated himself from Marcus and the rest of DedSec and his friends and has been kind of spiraling since. And, but Aiden and Wrench both, you know, seem to have come to some terms, or at least come then, to some understanding. And, and then Aiden got into a heavy coma. Yeah, Aiden got shot saving Jackson from a bullet. Uh... Oh. A bullet that was heading that was only heading to Jackson because of wrench. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. It's not been a good time here on what in Watch Dogs Legion Bloodline. Ah shit. Satan's phone again. Alright. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I've tracked your location, this is your final warning, blah, blah, blah. Bottom line, let Aiden Pierce go, or I'm gonna send a bunch of people your way to cut you into tiny little pieces and deliver Sorry, them to me gift-wrapped. Capiche? Chat, normal chat, because I can't really type right now. Multitasking. Fair. Do what you gotta. Jesus, dude, listen, I'm, I'm not holding Aiden hostage, I'm helping. Jackson, back me up. What the fuck? You're with Jackson. I thought you were one of Rempart's hired mooks. Hold on, hold on. You got a private channel or something? I gotta get off this burner. One sec. Oh, Jordy. All right, I'm back. And I've got some burning questions. So one, who the fuck are you? And two, what happened to Aiden? Well, I'm Wrench, and... Aiden is in a coma. A fucking coma? How the hell did that happen? I kind of, uh, half blew him up. Shit. Now I've got a problem here, Ratchet. It's Wrench. I have a fixer contract that needs doing, but my best guy is out. Indefinitely. I thought Rempart Ratchet. was responsible, but now I'm finding out. Right. It's you. Partially responsible? Please don't chop me into little pieces. Okay, Ratchet. I need you to wipe some data from Rempart facilities. Can you handle that? Got it. Go to Nexus Tower and steal their prototype combat drone. Not what I said, but, uh, sure. Let's see where this goes. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Jordy already was incredibly a chaotic character! Oh, no! Wrench and Jordy are both like extremely chaotic individuals on their own. It I don't know why it sounds like Jordy is less chaotic than Wrench. But uh... It's because Jordy it's because Jordy's a smooth talker. Where he's chaotic is he's a sociopath. Ah. Whereas Wrench is just pure chaos. Jo like they're different kinds of chaotic but they are both very chaotic and I am now very worried about the two of them working together cause oh no well we know London is not included <laughs> by the time the actual game starts so that's true yeah sure sure sure, sure is that I'm sure that's fine yeah <laughs> <sighs> oh no but yeah Jordy asked him to go wipe some data and wrench heard go steal shit so you know I mean cum si cum sa <laughs> I understand I get it So, once I get my drone, what exactly am I wiping from Rempart's facilities again? Every trace of the Brokatech deal. 
Scorched okay. Earth were the exact words the clan used. Scorched Earth? <laughs> I love Scorched Earth! Why didn't you lead with that? I don't think they meant it literally, but eh, that was their mistake. Go nuts. <laughs> Why, hello there, you hot piece of drone. <laughs> you, uh, want to get out of here? I know a nice little spot where we can park and, uh, you know, talk and stuff. Don't tell your dad. Huh. Weird, man. Uh, but who am I to judge? Let's do this. We are keeping you safe. All right, let's scorch some earth. Where am I going, Tree? Marking it for you now. So, this client wants to wipe out every trace of Broca Tech from Rampart's facilities, right? Uh-huh, that's right. Which means they know about Aiden's contract, which means they're probably the same client who hired him, right? Oh, so there's a brain behind the paintball mask. Ah, interesting. Is it Sky Larson? She runs Broca Tech, so that much makes sense. Look. The Fixers wouldn't be a very discreet criminal organization if we went around blabbing who hired us to do their illegal shit. I can't tell you. So you do know? Yeah, but same answer. It's called professionalism, Ratchet. All right, that's the first location there. I'll take everything you need to take out. <laughs> trying to clear Rampart out of London so they can take over all his shit? Uh, getting colder. But you know, that's actually a good idea. I should have tried to work that angle as a side thing. <sighs> uh, next time. All right, here we go. The mysterious client is... Thomas Rampart himself. For, uh, some reason. Let me ask you something. Why do you care? You get paid the same whether you know or not. Uh, honestly, I really screwed up here. And if there was some kind of shadowy puppet master who was really behind this whole alien situation, I'd feel a lot better about it. Okay. I shouldn't say this, but I like you, Ratchet. I see some of myself in you, so here's a tiny little spoiler. There is no scheme, no old enemy out for revenge. Just fucked up people doing fucked up shit to each other. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. the exact shit that got him so burnt out on everything. just comes to me. Hey, man. Sorry the big reveal was kind of a bummer. But I think I've got something that's gonna cheer you up. <gasps> Is it blowing up more Rampart stuff? It's blowing up more Rampart stuff. 
Marking your targets. I bet it's Rempart's dad trying to screw his son out of nice the work. business. But quick update, there's been a complication. What is it? Uh, the plan's making a bigger deal about all the wanton destruction than I thought they would. Like, they're refusing to pay, threatening to expose us. And obviously, we can't have that. Is this a problem we can fix by blowing up more stuff? Actually, I need you to clone a copy of the Rempart HQ server onto that drone for me to use as leverage. But I'd be surprised if you didn't blow up a few things in the process. Okay, I'd say that in my wheelhouse. All right, I'm cloning the server now. You know, the client sure found out about our little rampage pretty quickly. They did, didn't they? And if you were still interested in who they are, that's what I would call a clue. Did I just lose? Or was that the end of the mission? There. That should remind these idiots not to fuck with the contract after the fact. You still want to know who they are? I feel like that's fair game at this point. Now you're just gonna tell me? Just like that? Call it an investment in our ongoing business relationship. The client is Rempart's board of directors, specifically yep. the chairman, it's, Louis his Edmund father. Rempart, Thomas yep. Rempart's father. Come on, really? Why would he screw over his own son like that? Because none of what Tommy is up to in London is sanctioned. The board hired Aiden to find out what he was doing, and now they wish they hadn't. His shenanigans have put the whole conglomerate in jeopardy. So now they just want to wipe the slate and ever so quietly move Tommy Boy to the Baggett Division or wherever. Somewhere he can't do any damage. So if Rampart doesn't get the broker bridge and pull off his plan, his dad's gonna hang the clusterfuck on his son to protect the company. <laughs> Is this joy I'm feeling? See, you can make money and make the world a better place. Hit me up if you want to run any more fixer gigs. Take it easy, wrench. <laughs> oh man, the chaos that Jordy and Wrench would get into. Good lord. They could make a whole game about that. They could. I don't think they will, but they could. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see here. 9.30, almost. Um, what sounds most interesting? Ghost Car of London, where Jordy has a new fixer contract for Wrench that's a bit unusual. Um, Laddie, where Jordy has another fixer contract for Wrench. Um, or Faster Than Leet. Faster Than Leet? Yes, L33T. Should have been a seven, oh, but eh. It should have been a seven. How dare. Should have been a 1337, but anyway. You know, the, these scrubs, normies. Yep. Anyway, uh, go, so Ghost Car of London, Laddie, or Faster Than Leet? I would say Ghost Car of London. Okay. Any 
All right. What am I, an open hotline? Who are you? I'm Sky Larson, founder yeah. of Broker Tech. I have a proposal for you. We should speak in person. No, you send an offer to my people, and maybe I'll consider. I'm the only chance you have of saving Aiden Pierce. I'll send the coordinates to your optic. Hey, Jackson. What do you know about Sky Larson? I literally have her books on my shelf. I have a subscription to her Masterclass webinar series, and I won her Larson Family Scholarship. She's brilliant. Okay. Didn't expect to unpack a big crush there. Super sweet. <laughs> but I think there's something sketchy about this. If she can help Aiden, we don't have a choice. Hey, normally I'd be down for an icy British woman telling me what to do. But this time I'm a little... Quote, unquote. Normally I'd be down for an icy British woman telling me what to do. Anyway, um, interesting twist. If Sky Larson is the one who, uh, yeah, considering the fact that I had I Wrench be the one who of killed my her. Particular set of skills. Something like that. There's a high band EM cloak signal popping up all over London. It's more powerful than anything on the open market right now, which means it's worth a lot to the right people. We need you to track it down. That's all? Easy. Well, maybe. The thing's bouncing around between half a dozen different locations, and I can't get a beat on it. If I had to guess, I'd say it's some kind of cloaked vehicle. Uh, hold up. Did you say ghost car? No one said ghost car. Sweet! I'll do it. No further info required or wanted. Come on, sir, gay. Come on. <laughs> Ghost car. You have any suggestions? No. Lame. What a low bridge. No. <laughs> but what if though? No? No. I I'm approximately. Oh, wrong way. Is this way stronger? I'm approximately 900 meters from the ghost car. Approximately. It's EM signatures that are popping up, cloaking, uh, the signing, the sh showing the signs of a cloaked vehicle. Which Wrench then took as ghost car! Drones deployed to arrest the suspect. Oops. I may have pissed off Albion by taking some pot shots at their at them well, at London in general. It was very cash money of me because it, the, the cops. <laughs> Fuck the police. Okay, that I'll accept. 450 meters less than. Ooh, down to 150. Damn. Okay. 
I am really fucking close to them. That's car! I don't see the car. Wait, is that good or bad? You're definitely near a cloaking field. Look for a kind of shimmering, blurry space. Like when you get a migraine. Oh, I've never had one of those. Really? Try talking to you sometime. <laughs> like when you have a migraine. Really? I've never had one of those. Really? Try talking to you sometime. Damn. But true. But also, like, it, everybody at me. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Found the ghost car. Except it doesn't have wheels, doors, a back seat, or an engine. Oh. Huh. Must be made out of the same material as the car. What? An early prototype, maybe? Or another tormented spirit haunting the streets of London. Ooh. The only one being tormented here is me. Get to the next location. <laughs> the only one being tormented here is me, says Jordy. And that makes me so happy. <laughs> Why does that make you happy? Jordy was... He's he's only loyal to a paycheck. And as such, in the first game, he turned on Aiden. And I've held a grudge ever since. Okay. Even though they've continued to work together because it was just business. Not telling. Fuck off. Not even a hint. They're paying for their anonymity wrench. Oh, that explains why they want an invisible car. I mean, yeah, fair. Pope wanting an invisible car. I mean, yeah. Honestly, it's more likely that it's the Pope. -po. It's because of the. It's because of the the beeping. It's because of the beeping. The beeping. The the beeping brought to mind. Boom boom boom. Or zoom zoom zoom. Make my heart go boom boom. My supernova zoom zoom zoom. Impossible. Wrong pattern. It's literally a beep, beep, beep. The ghost hunters of London are on the scene. Legend is a car was brutally murdered here 20 years ago to the day. That's the lore? It's the ghost of a car? Spirit, <laughs> if you can hear me, rev your engine. <laughs> I I love that Jordy's kinda here for it too. Huh. It's a lot closer to the EM field we're looking for. But the shape is off. Oh come on, you can say it, Jordy. It's a ghost toilet. It's another prototype is what it is. Makes sense this is experimental tech after all. Hey, would you mind muting me for a sec? I need to void my ghost bladder. What? Well. well. <laughs> oh God. I'm sorry. My reactions are, you know, as you hear them. Ghost toilet. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh
Demon. That. No. That doesn't even make sense. Doesn't have to make sense. You think it wrench cares if it makes sense? Wrench doesn't. No, but I do. Well, Jordy doesn't care either, and they're the two that it matters to at the moment. Experimental do, tech. Do, do, Who exactly do. has been doing the experimenting? You don't need to know, and I don't want to tell you. Oh, come on, man. It could help me find the ghost car. Oh, yeah? The Ouija board's not doing it for you? <laughs> All local units, possible hacker overriding a drone. Please respond. <laughs> Drones are on their way to the suspect. Stand by. Do, do, do. I had them. Where did they go? You hear something? Ow. No visual of target. Ending pursuit, over. <coughs> Wait, is it the royal family? Also, did Maybe. you know that King Charles has cancer? I did not hear that. He has cancer, not a prostate cancer, something else. It's escaping! Come back, ghost car! Don't go into the light! Stop doing the fucking ghost car bed and start chasing the car. Christ! Eyes on the road, wrench. It's getting away. Get back here, you greased up little hog. I'm in range. Trying to disable the auto drive now. Gotcha! All right, get in the car before it drives off again. How about a real challenge next time? I'm in. Does my voice sound invisible right okay. now? You know what? Okay. <laughs> Does my voice sound invisible right now? <laughs> but also, I have a problem with the fact that he could be seen through the invisible car. Mike, you need to be able to see him. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I see enough of the car through its pixely blurry th imagery to be able to know where the car is on the screen. Okay. I don't need to see him through the invisible. This is the same logic as seeing Wonder Woman flying the invisible there jet. There we go. I was waiting for that. I know you want me to ask you what invisible sounds like, and I'm not going to fucking do it. Radio when you're at the drop point. Okay, well, can I just say, I love this feisty, will they, won't they dynamic we have going on. It's just the... I do too. Hello? Jordy? <laughs> A feisty, will they, won't they dynamic they have going on. I, I ship it, honestly. The chaos, I love it. I ship it so much. I mean, Wrench is canonically gay. Or at least by, yeah. Well, by I would think. Yeah, the 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 divorce uh, was to a husband, and Marcus was gonna set him up with a guy, or try to set him up with a guy, as a consolation type of a thing. That's a consolation. Well, to try to make him feel better after the deal, after Rempart stole his business and everything. This car sounds like it's going to fall apart. Jordy? 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 What? What? I was just wondering what you're going to do with the ghost car. Oh, my God. None of your goddamn business. 
Okay, because I've got a really weird idea. Oh, and if you're wondering if it's a sex thing, no, Jordy, okay? Way weirder. I'm literally... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yvonne, remind me to clip that for you so that I can clip this for you so that you, so that I can play it back for you later since you're on an ad. Oh my god! As close to putting out a hit on you. Welcome back. Well, we solved the mystery of the ghost car, and we did it together. Sure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to spend the rest of the day firing an assault rifle and screaming. <laughs> I'm going to spend the rest of the day firing an assault rifle and screaming. <laughs> oh my god! I have, I, I, it's, it's everything I wanted from a final game in the series, but okay. Uh -huh. So he's got a shotgun named BFF. He has a mm -hmm. submachine gun called Princess Rat Tat Tat. Mm -hmm. And I just unlocked an LMG the that he Senpai? calls Shredder Senpai. Oh, God, I love him. Yes. All right. How are we doing on time? We still have time. Let's do ladder or faster than Leet. Sorry, not ladder. Laddie. Laddie or faster than Leet? I just feel like faster than Leet is going to disappoint both of us. But what yes. is the benefit from either? Okay, so if I do, if I complete faster than Leet, I get, uh, I unlock drone hacks. Mm. If I complete Laddie, I get, uh, the, I get the ability to convince robots to betray them, uh, betray their, uh, side and start killing on my behalf. Um, How many <clears throat> robots do you encounter? Uh, not as many, but they will, it's enough to come in handy when I continue the main storyline. Um... Basically, I'm going to do both eventually. Here, here's the here's the text uh, for Laddie. Jordy Chin has another fixer contract, and this one is right up Wrench's alley. The fixers have a lead on one of Rempart's MK1 droids or robots that was sold to Albion. Uh, Wrench has to has to steal the robot and deliver it to the fixers so they can pull it apart and see what's inside. Time to robo heist. Faster than Leet says, Jordy's got a new fixer contract for Wrench, and it's a race, literally. Wrench must compete in London's annual Ultimate Extreme Mega Insanity Elite Hackathon, powered by Space Bull Power Drink. Oh, God. Space a Bull gives you rockets! Sorry, continue. <laughs> Space Bull! It gives you herpes. No, uh, no. <laughs> A multi-course race that attracts the best hackers in the world. The catch? Rads uh, has a hired racer loaded with the best tech money could buy, giving them an unfair advantage. Uh, Wrench has to beat the corporate sellout to prove this race isn't paid to win. Register for the hackathon. Ha it's not just, it's not a hackathon. It's not a hackathon. It's a hackathlon. Hackathlon. Oh my god. Anyway. 
goes faster than Lee. Okay. Okay. Where is the start? Where do I go? Wrench, have you heard of this annual London hackathon? Wait, 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 wait. Do you mean the ultimate extreme mega insanity elite? The Cathalon powered by Space Bull Power Drink! Uh, yeah, I've heard of it. Well, this year, some guy sponsored by Rempart is participating. And if Big Rich Tech Guy wins, some of the best hackers won't want to sign up next year. Fucking Rempart. The scrub won't even race himself, so he paid someone else to do it. You think he's providing this guy with unauthorized racing gear? Yeah, probably. There's no hard evidence, though. Shit. Well, either way, this should be an easy clap. Glad you're on board. Why don't you head over? It's an easy clap. Clap on, clap on, clap on. Yeah. Am I ever? That no is incredibly well timed with me crashing into a, the back of a car. Take a quick peek here. Go be fine, sir. Walk it off. He'll be fine. You ugly brats. Are you fucking blind? Ugh. Jordy, I'm looking at the leaderboard here. This Rad's crony must be loaded up with all kinds of crazy tech. There's no way he could have gotten these times without cheating. Well, you still think this will be an easy clap? Oh, it needs to be. There's no way I'm letting Mr. Big Corporation win. Man, I was almost expecting a crowd. Running through a race course alone doesn't have the same hype. Imagine the chaos if the contestants ran the course together. I don't think Space Bull Power Drink wants people dying on their watch. Right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get that dub. Dub yet. Let's go. This is absolutely copyrighted music, and I'm totally going to get clapped for this by Twitch. Nice one. Twitch I have got pirate? to be the best pirate you've ever oh, seen. God. So it would seem. Almost there. Stay sharp. You still have two more courses. Okay, but the song bangs, though. So, I heard you're trying to beat my time. Well, I can promise you won't win with your shoddy tech. Actually, I will win with my tech. And unlike you, you little corporate sellout, I don't need to cheat. Uh, Wrench, isn't that car-stopping hack kind of like cheating? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut up, Jordy. Oh, Albion is so mad. Oh, no. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> you can't let this guy win. You need to pick up the pace. I know, I know. The fact that he ragdolled through the air was fucking hilarious, though. I hope you're ready for this drone course. Won't be easy. Well, Rads isn't the only one with tricks up their sleeves. And away we go! You'll never beat me in this drone race. My time was flawless. Good fucking luck, nerd. Thanks, but I don't need your luck. You don't need luck, but you needed to overclock your drone. That seems a lot like cheating, Wrench. Shut up, Jordy! And anyway, this fucker cheated, so doesn't that make this more fair? This is the home stretch. Keep it up. Don't fail me now, little drone. There it is. That's the finish line. You can make it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> it looks like someone's going to get in trouble with Daddy Rags. Oh, shitting hell. <laughs> That was awesome. That was a fun sequence. Nice one, man. Another contract fulfilled. Fuck yes. And it was an easy one, too. Was it easy? You had to cheat to win. Yes, it was easy. And anyway, it was just some minor rule bending. I had no choice, okay? <laughs> well, now your name will be in the ultimate extreme mega insanity elite hackathon Hall of Fame. Congratulations. Yes. Free Space Bowl power drinks for life. He doesn't need any more caffeine. <laughs> Neither of them need caffeine. Neither Jordy nor Wrench need caffeine. I mean, the way that Wrench is, caffeine might actually calm him down. True. That is valid. That is, that is very valid. All right, we have one more to do. I have seven minutes. Probably can't do it in that time, but I'm going to try anyway. Hey there, Flunter. Ready for some more action? It's Wrench. Gesundheit. So, how'd you like to help the Fixers turn Rempart's robot army against itself? Jordy just called Wrench Plunger. Color me intrigued. What are we going to do with those rascally robots? Not robots, plural. Just one. Our clients have been itching to take one of those babies apart, find out how backdoor friendly they are, maybe eventually turn the entire fleet oh. against Rempart. You know, the usual Saturday night shenanigans. So you're talking about a robo heist. <laughs> now that I can get behind. Good. My contacts have found a Mark I robot being housed at the Albion Defense Facility. An older model, but good enough for our purposes. And the place is ripe for infiltration. <laughs> Their routers still use the admin username. Well, it has been a while since I've done any tinkering. Let's robo heist. So this is where our lucky killer Cylon is being housed. I guess these suckers are everywhere now. Let's do this. The bot is connected to an access point on a nearby roof. I hope you didn't leave your toys at home, big boy. Drone job. Got it. You know, we never actually discussed any plan or strategy or anything for this. Just saying. Just connect to the bot. Deliver to the pickup location I'll send you. I'll supply the getaway drone. Don't let me down now.
Remote operator detected. Manual override engaged. Right? Shh. Don't blow my cover, dog. If anyone asks, you're just an ordinary robot going about your ordinary robot business. And if that doesn't work, then we'll figure it out together. By your command. Wait, wait, wait. So you look like a new Cylon, and you talk like an old Cylon? <laughs> Jackpot! Operator status verification requested. Dude, I said don't blow my cover! If anyone finds out you've been hacked, it's no more robo heist. Just lie and say you're bugging out or something. You can lie, can't you? Not by your command. What? Oh, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> Good girl. I mean, I, I'm assuming you're a girl. Whatever, gender's a construct anyway. I am an ordinary robot. I am going about my ordinary business. Man, I can't wait to introduce you to Rex Jr. Name not recognized. Please restate. What, Rex Jr.? Oh, no, he's cool. And I'm sure he'd love to have a little sister. Oh, uh, wait, I'm handing you over to, to the fixers to be dismantled. By your command. Yeah, by my command. Hey, screwdriver, how's the robot handling? Oh, she's fine. She? Uh -huh. What? Can I help you with something? I'm a little busy here. Easy, Tiger. Getaway drone's on its way. From there, you'll deliver the robot to the fixers. They're standing by to get their new test subject. Move along. Nothing to see here. Move along. Nothing to see here. I am an ordinary robot. I am going about my ordinary business. Okay, Jordy. I'm here. Yep, I can see you. Just get the robot under the drone, and I'll pick it up. Lethal force against humans. Rest mode activated. Good girl. Anyone tries to shoot down that drone, I'll shoot him down first. By your command. Don't get too attached, crowbar. I got fixers at the drop off site waiting to take this thing apart. Yeah, about that. Uh, I think I'm just gonna take the robot to the safe house and keep her for myself. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. You're stealing the robot? Are you fucking kidding me? I know, but here's the thing, okay? I can't stand by and let her be dissected like a frog in biology class. won't hesitate to kill you for breaking their contract and then they're gonna be pissed at me because I'm gonna kill you first uh, can we put a pin in that I'm trying to save Renchel I think I preferred Brenchelina What'd you say? I said Jordy totally wants to touch his orifice. 
<laughs> Wrench totally wants Jordy to touch his orifice. Your contact has accepted your proposal. Get us the data we're after, and you can keep Wrenchelina or whatever you're calling that fucking thing. Thanks, Jordy. You're a real mensch. And as a token of my gratitude, I have decided on a name for this little lady. No. In honor of you, Jordy Chin, I hereby name this robot Little Jordy. You know, I really don't like you. Oh, look at, look at her, look at her. Just shit and chilling with her legs crossed. It's a pretty cute name, little Jordy. Yep, and here's, here's the, here's Wrench Jr. Chilling here in the corner. <laughs> we actually, we actually get Wrench Jr. in uh, Watch Dogs 2. Uh, and he instantly is attached to Wrench Jr. Yeah, and names him in everything. Hey there, little Jordy. Wrench Jr. You showing your baby sister around? Yeah? Getting along? No fights? <laughs> okay. boy. Daddy loves you both. Okay, so what am I supposed to be doing right now? Um, you're supposed to be being a good dad to Wrench Jr. and little Jordy. Duh. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> that's where we'll call it. We have one more Jordy mission and uh, then we'll be back to the main storyline. But uh, yeah, thanks for, to everybody for tuning in and hanging out. Thanks for to um, thanks for all the continued support and, enjo and joining me as we continue down this rabbit hole. <laughs> Uh, with all the orifices we've had to touch and all of that. Um, I, agree, I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. I swear I can speak English sometimes. English is a social construct. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, that's it for me for the night. Before we head out, you should absolutely check out these amazing people I have listed up here, which includes Yvonne B, who's been in my twi who in has been in my voice chat, um, nope. and and uh, yeah, so check them out. Um, you should also check out my link tree where I have even more recommendations. Uh, I also have links in my link tree to my socials, my Discord, and my Patreon, and all that other wonderful stuff. So check that out. Check out the Patreon, etc. Um, etc. etc. So on and so forth. You guys know the spiel by now. Um so yeah. Uh that's it for the night. We'll be back on Friday with more Gotham Knights. So until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you, and I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out.